folks, I'm Ian Baker with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the Mallard M26. This is a great bunk model, nice big super slide here, very spacious, and a lot of great amenities. Let's go ahead and start off right over here in the kitchen. So one of the things I love that they've done is they give you a lot of prep space. They accomplish this a couple different ways. One, you actually have usable countertop space here. And two, they give you sink top covers as well as a cooktop cover here. So that way all of this is usable space. Uh, the sink right here, as I mentioned, you have the two sink top covers. You can take these off. They are cutting board quality. So if you want to use the bottoms for a cutting board, you can certainly do that. And I say use the bottoms, that way the tops still look nice in case you have company over. Uh, but right there, if we take both of those off, you see the double bowl sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller one on the right. And then you have the high rise pull out faucet here, which aids in washing and rinsing dishes. Right over here, as I mentioned, is the three burner cooktop. The glass folds back nice and easy, just like so, to reveal your uh, three burners. And then it kind of doubles the backsplash too there. It's nice and easy to clean off. And underneath is an oven in case you want to do some baking. Directly underneath the sink here, you see you have a little extra storage right there, but I like it because it's enough room to put a trash can. And personally, that's where I want my trash can is right underneath my sink. If we move over to the side, you'll notice you have, well, a cubby hole right here, but also you have two drawers there. You can see those. And then you also have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in you know, a toaster, blender, anything, you can plug it in right there. You also have an additional one right over here. So uh, if you need to, again, plug in like a coffee maker, something a little more permanent, you have a spot to plug that in there. Uh, window, of course, to let in natural light during the day. And as you saw, you do have an LED light right up there at night. You also have a little bit of storage on this side as well. As soon as you walk in the door, you can open this up. You'll see the storage right there. Uh, personally, I would probably use this as shoe storage. Come in, kick your shoes off, throw them right in there, your flip-flops, what have you. I and mean, obviously, you can use it for whatever you want, but uh, that is what I would probably use it for. Then coming back over, right up top, you have some nice pantry space. We'll open this up. You can take a look in there. Notice you don't have a center style either. So, you know, if you have some larger items, you can still fit those in there. And next to that, your microwave directly below is your fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Right over here is the Medic Fridge Freezer Combo. We'll open that up for you so you can take a look. Uh, you know, this is great. It's... Uh, runs off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over for you then next to that moving back a little bit further this is cool too this gives you some versatility if you take a look right up top you see that you have a hanging rod and then you have removable shelves so if you need a lot of extra pantry space you can use this for pantry if you know you need space for kids clothes you can hang kids clothes remove the shelves you know leave one shelf in here if you want for folded clothes what have you uh, it just does give you some different options there and underneath that this is one of my favorite things you just don't see this very often in a travel trailer and what a great idea to have it especially in a bunkhouse this is your central vac system. Uh, it's nice and easy. That way you don't have to bring a vacuum cleaner along with you. You just slide this over, plug the hose in right there, turn it on, and you can vacuum out your travel trailer. Thermostat right up on the wall here. You know, pretty simple to use. Uh, this one does have ducted AC as well as ducted heat. Uh, and so you can control both of those with that single thermostat. Now this is a bunk model, and right in the back here are your two bunks. In the industry, this is what we call a double over double, meaning it's a double wide bunk on both the top and bottom. 200 pound weight capacity on the top, 300 on the bottom there. You'll see you do have uh, windows as well as LED lights on both the top and bottom. And on the bottom, you do have an electrical outlet right here too. So, you know, if the kids uh, need to play some electronics, plug in an iPad or something on a rainy day, there's a place in which they can do that. Right underneath, you can see you have great storage in there too. It's a little dark, I apologize, but, uh, you know, that's excellent storage down there. You know, a good place if the kids have like a duffel bag or you want a place, you know, to store uh, dirty clothes, things like that, that's an excellent spot to do it. Right here is the bathroom. They do have a kind of a cool design on the door, you know, just given that, that pop and appeal. It's a great looking uh, camper here. Electrical outlet down below right outside the door. You can see that. Uh, the main use for that will probably be if you're at the dinette, but uh, it is nice that they installed one there. 
Now come take a look in the bathroom. The bathroom is quite spacious, especially for a rear corner bath in a bunk model. You generally don't get this much room. Uh, but you see, you know, if I sit here, I have plenty of leg room in front. I'm pretty broad in the shoulders and I, you know, there's nothing in my way here. It's, uh, again, nice and spacious. Right over to the side is the tub shower. I'll stand in this for you just to kind of give you an idea. I'm six foot. As you can see, you know, my head clears. Uh, there's a skylight here too. So, you know, I have a couple inches. If you're six two, six three, you'll probably still be able to stand in here without having to hunch down and over. Hand wand makes it nice and easy to shower up. And then you have some shelves in the corner. But the thing I like about it is it's still a tub. You know, if you have really small kids and you're still giving them baths, you're able to do it in the camper still. Uh, emergency exit right over here to the side. Mirrored medicine cabinet up top. You see you have storage behind that. Electrical outlet if you need to plug in. Curling iron, uh, hair dryer. There's a spot to do it. Sink top and vanity here as well. If we take a quick look at the ceiling, you'll see how it is a nice barreled ceiling here. So it makes it nice and high in the center. You don't feel closed in and claustrophobic at all. You have LED lights running the whole length here, which are great because they're nice and bright and they don't use near the power or put out near the heat as your standard incandescent bulbs. You also have speakers here in the ceiling and this is your ducted AC with a quick dump. Uh, I like the quick dump option, you know, if you're loading or unloading and it's really hot, you're sweating a whole bunch, you can open this up right here and the majority of your air will dump right here, quickly cooling you off. When you're done, you can close these vents and it will duct through the entire camper. If we take a look at the super slide here, you see the large dinette. You can easily fit four people, which is great. Uh, also, the table does drop down into a bed, so if you need additional sleeping space, it's simple. You just unhook it from the wall, fold this leg up here. The table will sit right along these rails on both sides. You'll take these back cushions, put it on top, and that will create your sleeping space. As I had mentioned, there is this electrical outlet for this side. Uh, for this side, there's actually one uh, connected right underneath the seat there. So you can you know, plug, your, again, your tablets, laptops, and things in right there. Uh, both the light right here above the dinette as well as the wall scones are LED as well. So not only are they beautiful and decorative, but again, those aren't sapping a bunch of power from your batteries. Two large windows, especially this one right here, you know, just letting in a ton of natural light there. And then right across the top, you have the nice storage. You can see that kind of the cool decorative glass on there. We lift that up. It is strut supported. That's really neat. Again, you, you don't see that a lot in uh, travel trailers and, you know, you kind of have uh, have to get into the really high-end ones to have the struts so it just kind of shows you you know the quality and the care they're putting in the units here and this makes it nice and easy for one hand operation to be able to get in there uh, right beneath that is your tri-fold sofa not only is this nice and comfortable to sit on but it also folds out into a bed in a comfortable bed at that uh, if you've never seen a tri-fold what they do is they actually use the couch cushion itself you can see how, you know, uh, how much cushion you have there, and that's what your guests get to sleep on. That back part folds down, this bottom part comes out. Now granted, you won't be able to walk through here, it will close it off, but it's definitely worth it to be able to have your guests have a comfortable night's sleep and not wake up with this sore back from having a bar and an air mattress that deflated on them. So I, I definitely uh, like the fact they put a trifold in there. Right over here is your entertainment center. On those rainy days, you're gonna to wanna to watch TV. Uh, now this one does not come with a TV, but it does allow you to have a very large one. This is a huge opening here. So, you know, if you're someone that uh, really enjoys TV, you can definitely fit a good size TV in here. And your multimedia center is already pre-wired. You can see the wires right here. So if you wanna watch a DVD, all you have to do is pop a DVD in right there, plug this into your TV, and you are good to go. You also have a nice little cubby hole right down here, and underneath that, some additional storage. You'll also see you have a third door over to the side here, and then you have storage along the top as well. Again, they went with the decorative glass there, and again, it is strut supported, which I like, that one hand operation I was mentioning. Let's take a quick look at the bedroom here. As we take a look at the bedroom in the M26 here, you'll see the queen size bed, this does have storage underneath, which is nice and easy to access. You can see your bag there with the central vac system. Uh, you'll also see you have a couple LED lights there, which are perfect for reading. 
Then on either side, you have really nice nightstands. They're very spacious. You see you have a cubby hole there, uh, as, as well as electrical outlets on both sides. So if you need to charge cell phones, plug in CPAP machines, you have a place to do that. And again, it's nice and large. So you know if you have a glass of water or something you want to set there, you can do that too. Uh, but I like how big they are. Right above that, you have mirrored wardrobes. You can see the hanging rods going across, so you have good storage for your clothes. And then storage going across the top here as well. You have the nice decorative glass again on the front. Very usable storage there. One other thing I do want to mention is right here. So uh, I like when manufacturers do this, when they give you, you know, nice slider doors instead of curtains. The other thing I really like about this one, this TV spins around. I talked about having that big TV out in the living room. But at night, you know, if you're ready for bed or maybe not quite, you want to watch a show before bed, you can go ahead and close these doors, spin this TV right around, and be able to watch a show. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the great outside features on the Mallard M26. Starting right up front here, you do have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Very easy to access those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and that will give you access down and in. Right behind that, you see you have your rails there for a battery. It is wide enough if you want two batteries, you can fit two on there. You'll also see you have a light right here in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. And then on the far side, you have solar prep. So if you do want solar on this RV, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug them in, and it will trickle charge your battery. Then coming up the front here, you see you have the black diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And up above that, you kind of have this three-quarter cap. It's a really great looking front end. You see it gives it some nice contours here. You have lights set in there as well. You can turn on, just giving it a really great look at night. When we come around to the side, the sidewall here is a fully laminated vacuum bonded sidewall, two inches thick, which is great, especially for a lightweight model. A lot of manufacturers out there, when they try to lighten up the weight, they'll go to inch and a half walls or sometimes even thinner than that. So this is a full two inch wall, which is excellent for your insulation values. Big pass through, you'll notice it does have a covered hinge on here, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. It's magnetic, so it's nice and easy. You don't have to worry about the kids coming out and slamming this down and breaking off any clips or anything. It just sticks right up there. If you take a look inside the pass through, you'll see it's nice and finished off. You know, it's uh, very clean looking, which is great. You have a couple LED lights in here. Your power stabilizer jacks, the controls are right here. They're tucked away. You know, that way you don't have, again, you don't have to worry about the kids coming out here and moving your stabilizers during the day or anything like that. They are tucked away right in there. The other thing I love about this, slam latch baggage doors that actually work. You shut it, it shuts just like it's supposed to. You don't have to sit here and push it or anything like that. Uh, fantastic slam latches. I know it seems silly, but trust me, after reviewing a lot of RVs, little things like that I truly appreciate. If we take a look at the power awning, touch a button here, that rolls out, same thing to go right back in. LED light underneath, flip of a switch, it turns it on, that way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. You have three steps to get into this RV, which is nice, you know, a lot of manufacturers, especially in the lightweight like this, will only have two steps, so I do like the fact that they put a third one in there for you. Uh, if we take a look back up top, you see the two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but as I had mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So what that means is you can sit out, under, or out here underneath your awning and be able to control your music on either your iPhone or if you have an iPad or any other smart device, uh, you can sit right out here and use Bluetooth. If you need to plug those devices in, great. You have an electrical outlet right here. Uh, you know, obviously you can use it for whatever else. You want to set up a table in a crock pot, electric skillet, you know, fry up some uh, pancakes or something in the morning, you can go ahead and use that too. Your tank fill is on this side. This is your gravity fill right here. So if you're filling your fresh water tank, this is where it would be done at. If we take a look right down below, beautiful wheels on here, aluminum alloy wheels, which not only do those look really nice, but they will stay looking nice because aluminum doesn't rust. Also nitrogen filled tires, so hopefully your tires will hold that pressure for a longer period of time. And you see it is a widespread axle. You can see how far apart the uh, tires are there, which is really nice for you know, your towability, your stability. It helps reduce the sway while going down the road, meaning that this is just an excellent towing unit. And then right back here, one of my favorite parts about a bunkhouse is an outside kitchen. 
You can see here again, it's nice and finished, beautiful countertop. The sink here is plumbed. You know, you don't have to pull anything out, which is great. So that means they're able to plumb the sink right there. TV hookups. You want an outside TV? There you go. You can put them, uh, hook it up right there. You'd also have a two burner cooktop. It wouldn't be an outside kitchen if you didn't have a way to cook. And that is exactly what this is for right here. Your propane quick connect for that will be right underneath. You can see that guy right over here. So you can just plug that in right there. And again, if you don't want to use a cooktop, maybe you have a grill you love to use. You can set your grill up right here and plug your grill into that quick connect too, by all means. It, uh, you know, but that way you're using your two big 20 pound bottles instead of little green ones. Right out here is our refrigerator. This is my favorite part of an outside kitchen. It's lets me put you know, beer, pop, condiments, everything else right there for easy access. Then as we come around to the back, a couple of quick things I want to hit back here as well. Uh, one is your spare tire. It's mounted on the bumper. This is by far the easiest place to get to a spare. Hopefully you never have to use it. But in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here on the bumper and it has a cover so it should be in good shape when you go to use it. Outside shower right back here as well, both hot and cold water access. So, you know, you need to wash the dog or wash your feet off or something, you do have that. Then if you look up at the top in the center, you'll notice this one does have backup camera prep. You know, it's a decent sized travel trailer. If you want to be able to see behind you when you're backing up, it's a lot cheaper to have it installed when it's already pre-wired. Uh, one other thing I do want to mention on the off door side, you also have a black tank flush. So no longer do you have to take your hose and stick it down your toilet to wash out your black tank. You just hook it up over there. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. All right, folks, that wraps up the review for the Mallard M26. I'm Ian Baker. Thanks for watching. And for more information, check out rv.campingworld.com.